Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. When you purchase this module from eBay, AliExpress, or other sources, or Amazon, they will ship it with this pen header. If the pen header is not there, you just insert here four pens, and we will solder it. This is the actual BME280 module. We have here some pens. These are to select different I square C address, which we are not going to touch. And here VN, this will be connected to 5 volts, ground, SCL, and SDA. SCL is the clock, SDA is the data. This will be used for I square C communication. And on this one, if we zoom in, it says 622. And here, if we zoom in, this is the three pin regulator 662 here is a data sheet for it it is a low dropout CMOS voltage regulator the maximum current it can give is 200, 250 milliampere and the highest voltage that can reach is 6.5 volts what it means is that we can connect this to 5 volts and it will work fine and we have different versions of that so this must be 3.3 volts which I'm going to measure the voltage Let's measure the voltage in this pin on the right side. That is the output. And here on the data sheet it shows the output. And we're going to measure between ground and this pin. This is also ground. And this is the output. This is the input, the third pin from that side. I've put the pin. The negative is connected on the left side. And if I connect it to the right, you will see it's 3.3 volts. And the second component here, this is a sex pin. It is a power supply monitor. It has been labeled as 702. This is the item, 702. And here is the data sheet for it. It's a low dropout uh, reg regulator. Here are the pens. As you can see, six pen. This is the package. I'll provide you the link for this. So let's have a look at the data sheet for BME280. Here is the key features of it. The operating voltage is 1.71 to 3.6 volts. That's why we have a regulator, so we can connect to 5 volts, up to 5 volts. And the current that it consumes for humidity, pressure, humidi humidity, pressure, and temperature, these are 1.8 microampere, 2.8, and 3.6 microampere, respectively. Operating range is for temperature minus 40 to 85 degrees, so it doesn't go above because this is for um, environment for human environment use and relative humidity 0 to 100 percent and uh, uh, mm, pressure 300 to 1100 hectopascal i will provide you the link in case if you need further information from this let me explain the wiring if you see the sensor at the top these are the pins, which I'm going to explain. This pin is VCC. This has been connected to 5 volts of Arduino. The second pin is ground. Ground has been connected using red to the ground. This is SCL, orange. Orange has been connected to A5. And the uh, yellow is SDA. It has been connected to A4. You can also connect it to these two pins, SDA and SCL, which have been labeled. They are exactly the same in terms of communication. Let me now explain the code. The first thing that you need to do is download the library. The link will be provided. Once you download it, you will have it as a zip file. Save it on your computer, then go to sketch, include library, add .zip library, and then browse to the place you have saved the zip file. For example, if this was your library, select it and click Open. Once you do that, close your Arduino and also make sure, for example, I have two instances of Arduino, close both of them and then reopen it. 
after that go to file example you should see Adafruit BME280 library and click BME280 test and this is the code there are a lot of extra codes for example SPI you do need it because we are using I square C the wire is enough and these two pieces are needed none of these are needed because these are for ISC, uh, SPI communication so you can delete them this is sea level pressure hectopascal value which is approximate uh, sea level uh, elevation calculation and this line add a fruit BME to 80 BME that's for I square C which has no uh, forward slash so this is now active these are deactivated these are for I, I square C communication these two line you can delete it if you want and unsigned delay time this, there is some delay time that is used of type long we set inside the setup we set the 9600 baud for the serial monitor using serial.begin and that is the value when you open the serial monitor you will see it on the right corner you will see it in, in here it must match and then we print BME to ET this is just a text in the flash memory BME dot begin it will return true if it is working and the value will be stored here otherwise it will be false because it's boolean and then we check if status is true and this means not if it is not true then we print this on the screen that says it could not found and while one means stay here forever and the program will stop at this point will not proceed if this doesn't happen we print this text and the delay is one thousand millisecond and we print this line and inside the loop we have print values and delay time this delay that you said one second will be applied here and prints value so the loop will continuously execute this function the function is here and it starts from this point ends in here this line prints the text temperature on the screen and this line gets the value this is actual temperature and we pass it to this to the screen so we'll print the temperature and then this uh, degree this star with the C and then we print the pressure this line is getting the pressure and divided by 100 and this F means treat this as float not uh, double and we are dividing it by 100 to get hecto uh, Pascal and also the unit is HPA we are printing the text beside it then approximate altitude this is approximate our altitude is 90 and you will see that it shows something different I was checking it through Google um, Google map and then using BME alt, uh, read altitude and we pass the value that have been defined above this will return the approximate altitude this tree will print humidity this is the title this is actually BME read humidity this will print the value with a percent at the end and this prints new line so between all these values there is an extra uh, break let me upload this let me open this you will see that it is printing the temperature let me stop it so you can see it so it prints the temperature the current temperature in my room the pressure in hectopascal approximate altitude it shows 60.63 while our city Ajax Ontario is 90 meter above the sea level so so they use the word approximate so do not rely on this much humidity is 45.61 percent and it continuously prints that that I have this heat gun here mastercraft I will apply some heat to this and we will see the value here
as you can see the temperature shows 62 degrees 60 degrees Celsius the humidity dropped significantly and as the temperature is reduced the humidity increases the pressure is almost the same very little change And here is a custom code that I have written so it can be used easily. Up to this portion is exactly the same. Inside the setup, I've removed the delay. The setup is the same. Inside the loop, we have like this, we are printing this text, temperature equal, and then serial. I've written this function, get BME, and then inside a single code, we pass C. If you want Celsius, you pass C. If you want Fahrenheit, pass F. For Kelvin, pass K. If you want pressure, put P. And if you want humidity, put H. For altitude, put A. So we, this is returning the value, and it is being printed. And then we print the degree. The degree Celsius symbol uh, needs special track. I've written another function. It's uh, at the bottom of this screen which I'm going to explain I'm going to explain this as well and then we print this C after the symbol we print the C and then we have a letter space and then get temperature and we get it in Fahrenheit because many times you might need it in Fahrenheit so I created this code that anything that you need it should accommodate and then we print degree symbol print F and a space and then we also print Kelvin we don't need a degree for the Kelvin we print K at the end and then this is new line after printing all the temperature in different Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. We have LN. This creates new line and this is creating a next line. We print pressure simply using get BME and inside single quote we put capital P pressure and then with a space HPA. Then we print humidity with H or the printing percent and then altitude with uh, this function and M and then we create a new line and we wait two seconds and the loop continuously doing the same now to explain this I'm gonna explain it here this is called get BME and we pass a character if you pass K for Kelvin C for Celsius it will come here and it will be called type and we create a new float value float variable called value and we read all the four parameters here read temperature bme dot read temperature which was printing before now uh, we store it in a variable called temp and we read pressure same line that from previous code we store it in a variable called pressure humidity we call we store it in a variable called rel humidity and bme and this is the approximate altitude we store it in alt and then we check the type if type is equal equal this is for comparison purpose if it is F Fahrenheit we get the temperature multiplied by 9 over 5 plus 32 this will be Fahrenheit and store to this value that we define F that the this type character is Kelvin we add to original temperature which is this one we add 273.15 and this will be our Kelvin and the value will be now Kelvin not this one because the F condition will take care of it and if it is humidity we put relative humidity into H and if it is pressure we assign pressure to the value and if it is A altitude we put alt to the value else mean if it is Celsius then actual temperature will be to the value and we use return dot value which will return the value according to the selection that the function has received and then print degree this is printing the degree symbol on the screen we need the hex character of C2 and B0 to side by side this will create a symbol for degree, cel degree symbol either Celsius or Fahrenheit here is a demonstration of custom code that I've written when you run this it prints degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit Kelvin and then the rest that you've seen it will be printed the same way I've made it very simple 
And here, let's say you want to take action if the temperature in Celsius, this C means Celsius, this is the value, is greater than 65.2 degrees. Let's say you are monitoring a, a liquid temperature or a device temperature. If it is getting hot, you will turn on a fan or a cooler. Then if it is greater than that, then opening and closing it here, and you can take some action here, for example, turning on a fan or whatever, or let's say, digital write and pen 5 high. Of course, pen 5 has to be defined as an output above, but this was just an example. So you can send a signal to a pen and the fan will turn on, or, or you can turn it off, or, if, or you can do the opposite, whatever you want. If the temperature is below this, then do that. So this is action. I'm commenting this out. This will not do anything. So you get the idea. If you want Fahrenheit, just change the Fahrenheit, change it to Fahrenheit, pressure, or any other value that you want. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.